This is Public Resource. So everyone's heard of big tech, but have you heard about the data cartels? Just a few companies are stockpiling all of our data and they've taken over a bunch of information markets. Companies like Thomson Reuters and RELX or RELX, which is the corporate mashup of publishing and data giants Reed Elsevier and LexisNexis, monopolize our laws and our legal information. They monopolize our scientific and scholarly research. Uh, they, they monopolize a lot of our up-to-date financial data, some types of news sources, and even the most creepy type of information, our personal data. These companies block us from seeing the most important public information while simultaneously selling off our most private personal information to people like our bosses, our banks, our landlords, and even the police. They use anti-competitive tricks and tools to squash competition, and they drive up prices by forcing consumers to sign non-disclosure agreements and pay exorbitant fees to see information. The data cartels mess with our ability to seek and receive information, or as librarians like to call it, our intellectual freedom, in two ways. First, the companies put up paywalls around their information, um, and the, it's the kind of information that we need in order to make responsible legal, health, and financial decisions. Their paywalls are a kind of financial censorship. The companies don't let people see information until they pay the right price. And they make billions of dollars selling laws and research that were funded by our tax sellers, charging us for information that we already paid for, right? They also sell our digital exhaust, the data we leave behind when we participate in the digital world. Selling that kind of data deters us from doing things like poking around online, using information platforms, and doing other digital activities that we might need to do for our jobs, our social lives, or, or you know, any other part of our, our digital world. So RELX and Thomson Reuters zealously protect their private information libraries and charge us a premium to see them, but they don't protect our privacy. And in fact, they expose us to surveillance. So I know that we've all heard of companies like Google and Amazon and Facebook and those other big tech giants. But if you ask me, it's time we hear more about big data and learn more about these data cartels and their anti-competitive activities. 